Hey guys, Vikas over here and this is VR Genius. Guys, today I am with a new tutorial around Raspberry Pi. We will see how to interface DHT11 temperature humidity sensor with Raspberry Pi. So DHT11 is a one wire serial protocol based temperature humidity sensor. To interface with Raspberry Pi, we are going to use Java but the application developed will not be completely Java based. Instead, we are going to use Python script uh, running from Java application. So let's see how to do it guys let's check it out so to connect dst11 with uh, your raspberry pi you just need to connect this sensor over here to the gpio pins which looks like this of your raspberry pi so to connect Connect the pin number 1 which is nothing but the VCC pin of your DST11 to the VCC pin or the 3.3 uh, volt rail on your Pi GPIO. Then second pin goes to GPIO25 because uh, you can connect it to any GPIO but over here uh, we have used the python script that is going to use the GPIO25. And this GPIO layout is actually the BCM1. So don't don't get confused with uh, like pi 4 j and other GPIO pin numbering. Then third pin is uh, not connected. Then fourth pin is connected to ground. Okay, over here. So just put up jumpers like that. So now let's get to the uh, Python script and we'll run, take it to Raspberry Pi and we'll run it there and see if uh, we are getting the readings from the Pi or not. So before going to like programming, uh, one more thing is like uh, the you can see over here uh, we are going to connect only the pin number two with the GPIO of your Pi. So it's kind of one wire serial protocol. So basically what it does is the microcontroller whatever connected to DHT11 when it asks for or request for data, it pulls the particular pin low for around 18 milliseconds, a minimum period of. Then again it pulls the pin high. To around 20 to 40 microsecond, and after that, the DHT11 responds a 40 bit data that is serial uh, in serial fashion. So, uh, with uh, like that, which contains the temperature and humidity information. So, guys, this is a like Python script that we are going to use, and over here you can see it has used the BCM layout of your GPIO pins, and it has used the pin number 25 as the uh, like communication pin between the DHT11 or and Raspberry Pi and this over here returns or prints the humidity and temperature data onto the terminal so let's first take it to like the Pi and we'll run it in the 40 so you can see if we are getting any data onto our terminal so one sec I am just uploading this particular file over here, dst.py. Now open up the terminal. We can simply run the python script by using python then the file name and as it is in desktop I am going to provide the path then dst.py. Okay. This actually quite sometimes returns us like error range and error CRC. It's not like uh, communicated successfully, and over here you can see. So over here you can see as we are not using the OS level uh, like drivers and all for this communication, it for uh, quite a bit of time it fails. But uh, after some tries, you can will be able to read the data. So over here you can see it is, it is showing me 78 percent humidity. And temperature is 30 degrees Celsius. Now let's uh, uh, try to run this particular file from our Java application so that we can incorporate this uh, sensor in our Java app. So to do that, I'm going to create a new project in my Eclipse. So I'll start with a new one, new Java project. So one more thing is as we are running the Python script to act like interact with the DHT11 sensor and we are simultaneously if you want uh, like using pipe 4 j for other GPIO functionalities from Raspberry Pi 
they can go ahead with that. It will not cause any interruption or anything. It works perfectly. Okay. So let's create a course like the DHC eleven Java. And we are using Python. I'll just apply. So there are actually uh, different other methods also present to run uh, like a native code or uh, using Java and all like JNI and all, uh, all of the things. But I am going to use a simple approach that will run the script in the terminal and get back all the data. Okay. So let's try to run over here. So the name is like let's say main class. I'll I'm going to include the policy to void band method. Now over here I'm going to use the runtime let's say RT twelves runtime dot so this will uh, give me a runtime okay now I'll do one thing I will try to run RT dot exec so this will execute whatever command will provide to it. Let's say I want to execute let's Python 10 the file name that is THC dot Python. Okay. So it will uh, like to accept some. So it uh, will uh, do that whole declaration. Now, this actually returns parameter that is of type process t or any variable you can give it. Now, uh, this is like it will simply execute this particular command in the terminal. But to get back the data that has been returned by the particular script, you can use input stream proper. Now, after this, I am just going to use this piece of code. That is going to read uh, the data returned by the script in the terminal. So this is basically a buffer reader. So it will read the input stream or the stream that is returned or the like data that is returned by the terminal. So a line is nothing but a string. So this will actually uh, this piece of code. What it will do is it will run the particular script or python script file and it will return the data to the like input stream okay and over here we are going to print the return data onto the console so let's compile it and I am going to export this particular application export from the jar file select the particular launch configuration I am going to export it to the desktop. I'll go with it over here. I will go to the desktop. I will transfer the desktop clip and desktop chart into the file. Now let's uh, try to run the particular Java application. To do that, I will use sudo Java. Yeah, and then the slash dash dash. Okay, okay. I think uh, I am over here. Oh, actually, I over here I forgot. I need to just provide the path. To the PST dot by by dot script. Just try to go line slash by slash desktop. So we can see it has successfully run the button script, but it has written error here. Okay, now you can see. It has printed out the humidity and temperature over here in the terminal. Okay, so I am going to change the particular Java file over here so that we will get this data to separate variable so that we can use it later on. 
So uh, what I'm going to do over here is create a string and I'll contain all this data onto a single string. But before that, I just need to modify the Python file so that you will get the data in a particular format so that you can process it in our Java application. So to do that, simply go to end of the file. It will simply print out the temperature and emit it onto the print separated by Aspect so that you can differentiate the uh, separated by one dollar so that you can differentiate we can like split the result into the required value now save it it's going and let's again try to run the java application and over here you can see it has been trade out for three dollars seven Okay. This is the first one is the temperature value, then is the emitter value. So that uh, by using the dollar sign, we can split out the value. Now Java. Now it will run it just retrace first line from the output. Over here, we can check if error range. That means let's fail to read the data, and I'm going to return or uh, print out that. Uh, like I'm going to initial, uh, like make the values of the uh, humidity and temperature unaffected. So before that, I just need to create the variables that is uh, humidity. Now, uh, if it is like uh, showing us a CRC error, a range error, this going to else. We are going to split the line that is the line of split with the expression that is okay. now this will uh, return us one array now as you know first one is the temperature so I'm going to assign temperature equals data and make it again static as it is like uh, we are getting into a integer variable, we need to parse it the string that is integer dot parse int. Now simply copy it once again. Let's it by one. Okay. So now you can see. If uh, the like script or the terminal returns us error CRC or a range, it's going to do nothing. Okay, and if it is like returning some data or something separated by one dollar sign, okay, we are going to split the data into two halves or the whatever value might be into temperature and humidity. And first data that is into data zero is the temperature value because we have modified like that in the past. Now, at the end, I'm simply going to print this from the out. Print a length. Again, uh, take it to the Raspberry Pi and we will try to run it over there and see if you are getting the desired output. Take it to the Pi.
it is going some error over here and line number 21 oh i just uh, like okay it is going error here see but uh, just need to go the condition so that over here will not get Now I can see uh, we have successfully got the value over here. It is showing like temperature is that reduces the humidity is 78 percent average. Okay. So the actually uh, error was something like uh, this has to be like regular string expression over here. Now we can use these variables in your like application wherever you want to manipulate the data uh, let's say you are interested in something like uh, IoT application or you can use this very good to refer to so that's all with this guys thank you thanks for watching hey guys it's me once again and hope you have liked my video if so just hit the thumbs up button or if you don't there is a thumbs down button for you also and don't forget to subscribe my channel for latest updates okay see you next time with my new content that's all guys thank you thanks for watching